Okay, for this one, you're going to build an outhouse, and I'm going to just show you a really basic one. Uh, this is a way to show you kind of all the different basic modeling techniques in one really short exercise. Uh, feel free to make a crazy outhouse. You don't have to make yours all traditional like mine. Um, so grab the rectangle tool, and we're going to draw out a rectangle. When you're drawing, by the way, you can see that diagonal line. That tells me that what I'm making is square. Um, grab the push-pull tool, by the way, hotkey is P, push-pull, this thing up, zoom out, hand tool to orient yourself, and I'm just using the letters, by the way, to, uh, to do this. You can do the roof in one of two ways. You can use the line tool to get to a midpoint, come down, and do the same for the other side, and it's, you kind of have to, like, get a push and pull and go past the edge and release at the right time and you can snap it out like that. If that doesn't work, do it this way. Line tool, cross the midpoint, same thing here. And then you're going to use the move tool. <clears throat> I didn't show you this in the other video. The move tool, when you hover over a line or a shape or a form, you can pull it. And before I click again, you can see it says on blue axis. That means that it's pulling straight up and down. After all, our axes are vertical for blue, green for X, and uh, red for Y. So then you come over and fill in the rest. And I'm going to orbit around one more time and do the other side here. Line. The reason I'm doing this is I want an overhang on my outhouse. So I can use a push-pull tool. And if you want to be really accurate, zoom in a lot. So say, you know, if you're, you're trying to push from really far away, it, it kind of doesn't really work well. So get close to your object that you're modeling, like I am here. Okay, so I just gave it a little overhang. I'm going to use the hand tool to position myself in space. And now I get the basic overhang. Uh, now it needs a door. And grab the rectangle again. Oops. Grabbed the wrong rectangle, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, this is going to pull from the center. You can do it in any number of ways you want, but I'm going to just use that. And again, I'm going to use a move tool. If I didn't get it quite right, you can move lines on a surface. And now I'm going to get it just right. I'll use the circle tool, and I'm going to zoom way out on this. I don't want a huge door handle that looks crazy. I want one that looks to be the right size. Okay, I'm going to trim this out. I'm just going to use the line tool. Hot key is L. And align again. This way I can just be a little more accurate going around this. You may need to be closer to do yours. Otherwise, if you're trying to use a rectangle tool to trim it out, it just kind of fights you. So these are two different ways to draw shapes. So see how I tried to pull that out and it just popped and looked crazy? Now I just need to get in really close and just give it a little sense of relief. Okay, that looks good. Every good outhouse needs a moon. I'm going to use the two-point arc tool. First thing I want to do is hover over the face and make sure it tells me I'm drawing on the face. Click once, move your mouse up, click again. And remember, you're never clicking and dragging. You're just clicking and then moving the mouse. The third time, it should also say on face. That looks good. I'm going to zoom in to do the other part. I'm going to start here, come down, and then this last one should say on face again. You'll know you did it right. When you orbit, it looks like it's sitting on the face. Okay, last thing. You can select shapes like this and just hit delete to carve them out. Or if you want to get fancy, push it in. Do whatever you got to do. If you want to move that whole shape around, you can hover inside of it before you delete it. And you can move it around. Applying textures to this thing, you can use the paint bucket. Totally fine. Get some roofing, siding, cladding, all of that stuff. So for material options, you unless you have a pro account, you're going to need to scale up your uh, object to fit the materials. Uh, if you do have a pro account, you can right-click the texture uh, and make it a unique texture. So when you're over here in your model, you can then click on it and upgrade it. But of course, you have to be upgraded uh, with your account. So a workaround for that is to use the line tool and just make your own.
do the same thing for the side. Um, so using the materials is great, but scale up in order to make them fit or just draw on your own materials.